guys. Thank you for clicking on my channel and welcome to the journey home. My name is Catherine and I live in Nova Scotia. This is your August love reading for those of you who have been patiently waiting for it. Here it is. This is a companion to the astrology page I created for you, which you'll find in a link in the description below that will be part and parcel with this love and relationships. Cards have been pre-shuffled to save time. Head of your reading that will affect all the cards that are laid is the Ten of Cups. That's, that's a completion. Tens are completion. And of course, this is being emotionally fulfilled. Ten of Pentacles. Ten again. The Sun. What's going on? The Hermit and the Emperor. Some of you may be dealing with Virgo, Leo, Aries. Let's get back to the energies and what they mean. Three of Wands at the heart of your reading. Ten again. Ten of Swords and the Page of Wands. And the Queen of Pentacles. Capricorn energy. Very protective energy with the Emperor here. It's about taking control. Ready to fight to protect their kingdom. Is that you taking control? Or are you withdrawing? Saying I'm taking some time out. I'm taking that lamp that was given to me by the Emperor. Because that's where it came from. The right brain. The Emperor and Empress ruled the right brain. The hermit rules the left and he takes the light they give him to, well, from spirit to earth, navigate the logic, the practicality. This is either to preserve what you have or having the clear vision of what is rightfully yours. This is joy. And look, naturally, this is about home life. Having it all. Your heart's desire. Now, interesting. August. We're in uh, the Big Ugly, as I've talked about for years, and more recently, June, July, and now August. But the, the zodiac signs are freaking me out with, you know, making me awfully proud of humanity, to be honest. So your return on investment is going to be very joyful, uh, more than you expected. Make you very proud and happy. Not pride in a, in a harmful way, but a, a safe feeling, a security. Saying now, we can breathe now. The worst is over. We can go into recovery of whatever is happening on the world level. There is a message coming in that gives you that as well. Now, this may be a young person involved in this situation. But this is a light being shone. It's like the hermit saying, all right, I'm looking for you. Where are you? And the kid's like, or the page. I'm over here. Over here. Just follow the light. Follow the light. Because the page of wands is a light. And this is being divinely guided. So whatever path you're on in the month of August. When this hermit energy takes over. Going through that left side of your brain. Of logic. That light is connecting with another light. And not necessarily another light. The same light. This is divine guidance here. The Hanged Man. Queen of Cups. Ace of Wands. And the Queen of Wands. Now, there's an awakening taking place. An awareness. Some revelation. Revelation. 
that will make you feel emotionally. Or perhaps this revelation is coming from a more spirit base because she's psychic. She's spiritual. She's intuitive. But it also talks about emotions. Whether crying or laughing, there is an awareness, an awakening taking place here. Oh, I think this is of joy. Because look, we have the joy card. Plus we have that ten of pentacles. That return on investment of what you expected to be more than you expected. That that little light brought this beautiful kingdom to a place of we can rest. Or, or we could have a really passionate night alone together. A new beginning. A passionate new beginning. With confidence. Boy, that's a lot of passion. This is also about the law of attraction. This is about being uh, admired. Turning heads when you walk in a room. Like full attention on you. Full attention. I'm listening to every word you're saying, Taurus. Is what this soulmate or love is saying. I'm listening. I hear you. Are they taking a more supportive role? Or taking the lead? Perhaps you're the voice as you navigate in the background. Karma. So this goes back generations, lifetimes, DNA, karmic debts that were are being coming to fruition now, your rewards. Karmic rewards. I'm not seeing any d real difficulty here in August as far as love goes. What is this? Boredom? Disappointment that you haven't completed that dream yet? Disappointed in the other one? You want them to step up to the plate? Come on, you know you're an emperor. Act like an emperor. Don't be a child. Is that the energy here you might be feeling in August? That leap of faith is taken with or without you, baby. Boy, this is going to be one joyful leap. This, found, this really feels like a leap in this relationship. I don't want to be disappointed again, but I see, I see the reality of what this can be. High Priestess. Wow. Okie dokie. In the bulky. It's the Akashic Records you're tapping into. Destiny. Purpose. You may not even know what that purpose is on earth. It's just taking place by your existence. And this knowledge and these records go way way back with you and another and i do see balance here taurus because if you look at the emperor in full gear ready to fight protect his kingdom right we have the laid back earth mother Nurturing, relaxing under a tree, in full bloom of red roses, just depicting love. Secure in her home environment. What a nice balance between this energy and this energy. On guard, but balanced with that. Quiet knowing, even though there's all this fire. Mm. 
we're talking Akashic Records here. Going back. Now, this is the past. Energy of the past. This could be nostalgia. Looking back on the past. All that you've gained. More than you expected. Perhaps you're waiting for someone to return. This may be the month they return. This is a, usually a card of deception. Or loose ends that were not tied up. I think this energy is trying to tell you that Taurus, whether you know it or not, that energy was those ends were tied up. Or you've learned much since then. That's wisdom from all the experiences of all the, you know, disappointments. Maybe that's the reflection back to here. How is this going to affect my dream of that stable, happy, peaceful home to have balance? If I bring this energy back or reflect on it, this energy from the past. You've gained a lot of wisdom. So for those of you who are waiting for someone to return, um, it really looks like they're returning. Another chance here to bring things to uh, another experience chopped up, wiser level. But boy, this looks like really good makeup sex too. This could be about getting into a new relationship that you're afraid of repeating the past, you know, uh, behaviors. We're always dealing with self-discovery and behaviors and how to rise above them. Therein lies the conflict. So there is this calm state, feeling of knowing. What is this conflict? Is it an inner conflict or is it an outer conflict? Others trying to influence you. Whispering in your ear. Trying to sidetrack you. Or a message that's coming in that truly wakes you up about this energy. Oh my goodness. Boy, some of you, if you're hoping for reconciliation, there's a really good chance of that in August. Look at that. That's, that's the wedding. That's partnership. An awareness of who that twin flame is, that soulmate, that one that you want to be with. A great awakening. Maybe it's someone you didn't even expect. You grew up with them. You never saw them that way before. And all of a sudden, boom, it hits you like lightning. Oh, my goodness. Aries. I mean, Taurus. I'm thinking Aries because that's an Aries card. There was another Aries card here, too. That's an Aries energy, too. Look at this. The King and Queen of Cups. The King and Queen of Love. Deep emotional binding. Generational. The spirit connection goes back. In the ages, the eons, the ether. What you thought you lost. There is a new beginning coming here. What you thought you 
thought you lost is not lost at all. It is still there. Are some of you waiting for someone to return? Or maybe it is something that is within yourself that never went away and this is coming to you in the month of August. Be patient a little longer. So is this happening in August? Well, looks like the foundations are laid for it. Ten of Pentacles. You may be bored waiting for the Emperor and Justice, two major arcanas. Seven of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. Confident that this harvest is going to come in. The marriage, partnership, awareness, awakening to who you are, to each other. There's deep wisdom here too, which harkens back to the Akashic Records and the Hermit. Look at these energies and at the heart, whatever this deception is, you have the wisdom and this information coming in. Whatever this conflict is, there's going to be enlightenment, awareness. Some energies from the past that are coming back to bless you. Joy, a leap of faith, clicking your heel, jumping up in the air and clicking your heels. Finding that love. Perhaps you're trying to deceive yourself saying, am I imagining this? Oh, forget it. Get over that conflict, Taurus. You're more stubborn than that. Once you know something, you know something. There's no steering you any other way. Passion is on the cards. Interesting. Check out the page I created for you for this love reading for August in the astrology section. or The link is in the description below, Taurus. To my subscribers, God bless you. And to those who haven't subscribed yet, please do. And I do hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye for now. Thank you.